you. Welcome to Mindful Monday. I almost forgot to say welcome, you guys. Welcome. And it's a rainy Monday here. And um, if you're feeling the rain in your body or your mind or your spirit, just think how a hen would feel. She's probably exhausted. <laughs> I'm really working on my jokes. So, um, so we're going to start in child's pose if that works for you. So that means knees as wide as your mat. Um, hopefully you have something underneath your knees to uh, provide some comfort there. And then your hips uh, go back to your heels. Now, if your hips are like up in the air, you can tuck a pillow or another blanket underneath between your hips and your heels. And then we'll just start with extended child's pose by extending your arms long. And just sinking in. So already we're into our hips. And um, once you get there, just give it a moment before you decide to change your mind and adopt a different shape. Because child's pose is one of my favorite poses to practice in the morning. So once you get there, just let your hips sink on back. And let your Fingers do the walk and forward, so you get a nice stretch of the shoulders and the upper back as well. And let your elbows rest on the ground. So in this child's pose, you'll notice we're stretching not only our back and our shoulders, but our ankles. We have our third eye on the floor. You can rock back and forth to give that a little massage. So this pose is also really good for just calming the nerves. And it's also good for relieving constipation. So here we are. So many good benefits of this pose. So we'll begin our centering practice in child's pose this morning. And again, if any time you feel like you need to come out, just come on out, find a comfortable seat, or lay down on your back. So with eyes closed and belly soft, just invite in a deeper breath. Notice where the breath goes in this shape. And notice how as you exhale, the belly naturally draws into the spine and maybe your hips draw back toward your heels a little bit more. And just take some full deep breaths here. Just start to lengthen the breath a little bit more, maybe counting to yourself to five or six on the inhale, and then let the exhale be seven or eight. See if you can really lengthen that exhalation. next inhalation, whenever you're ready, fill up the back body. Imagine filling up the whole lungs on the back side as well as the front side. So you feel that expansion, the lungs grow larger all around, but you can feel the side body expanding. And then let your exhalation be long. Sink the hips back a little bit more. 
Kan and just take a couple more breaths as the wind howls outside. And I thought we would since I'm on this joke <laughs> train, I thought we'd work um a little bit with the inner child, which works well with the idea of um, hip openers. So my friend Mary Sidwani, um, who's local here, she uh, works with women. She ha owns the um, Women's Therapeutic Center, I think. She wrote this book, and I just pulled it out yesterday. I hadn't read it, sorry Mary, but it is really good. It's called How to Find the True Self Within, Secrets of Relieving Stress and Anxiety. And she gives us some really good ideas for, I think, for um, sort of practicing, focusing on the inner child. So maybe as we breathe uh, for a little bit longer here in this child's pose, Add a, um, an affirmation to your breath. And she suggests, I am a worthwhile person. I feel self-confident and self-assured with everyone I meet. And here's one I really like. I deserve to be happy, playful, and joyful. I deserve to be happy, playful, and joyful. So take your happy, joyful, playful selves and lift up just a little bit and walk your hands over to the right and get a stretch of the left side body. And keep those hips back there. Take a full breath in here and then lift up enough to walk your hands over to the left and get that stretch on the right side too. Okay. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then come back to center and take your right hand and take that thread of the needle. Bring your right temple down to the floor. And then if you're comfortable with your left arm lifting up, lift it up and maybe flip the palm. Take a, um, take a half bind here or just leave it up. And on your exhalation, take the left hand down, lift up enough to release your right hand, and take your left hand underneath your uh, right shoulder. You can release that right arm long if you like, or you can take it up, or take that half bind. And just breathe here. And this might feel really good. Try to keep those hips back toward the heels. Take one more breath in, and on your exhalation, take the right hand down, take the left hand to the mat, and just go, come on up, sit up in thunderbolt pole pose. This doesn't work for everyone, but we'll just sit up tall, and just loop the shoulders back. I'm just taking a couple of loops. Always the option to release your legs long. Good. And then come to a comfortable seat. So maybe that does mean letting your legs extend long or giving a crisscross applesauce, which is another hip opener here. And sit up nice and tall. You can let your eyes close and just drop your chin down to your chest. And then take your chin to the left and to the right. And then back to center, lift it up, nose towards ceiling, keeping those shoulders nice and away from the ears. As you exhale, take the chin back down to the chest, rock it and roll it to the left and to the right, just making semicircles. And then bring it back to center, lift it on up, stretch your throat. And then we'll take one more. Coming back, chin to chest, moving from left to right. Good. Coming back to center. Ah, nose to ceiling. And then come back to center, looking forward. Finding your nice, tall yogi posture. Good. 
Inhale those arms up to the sky and exhale your hands down to heart center. Chin comes down to chest. We'll take two more. Inhale, linking breath to movement and exhale, hands to heart center. Last one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. And then we'll take the next one, we'll add on. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your side bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your side bend. Good. Inhale, reach up, look up, get really long, fingertips reaching for the sky. And exhale, come forward. Reach forward, let your chin come down to your chest. Inhale, rise up, we'll take it one more time. Inhale, and take your side bend. Inhale, reach up, look up, and exhale to your side bend. Good. Inhale, and exhale, take it forward. Good. On your inhale, rise up, reach up, and let your hands come down to your heart. Good. Switch the cross of your legs. We'll take that one more time. So it's going to be the funky way. This always feels weird, but it's a good hip opener. Inhale, reach up, and exhale to your side bend. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, just swaying like the breeze as I'm watching the trees out my window. Come forward, chin to chest. Inhale. And just exhale, hands to heart center. Good, let's take one more. Inhale. Take it to the other side. Just moving gracefully this morning. With your breath. Come on up, reach up, draw all that goodness down into your heart and let your chin come to your chest, let your eyes close, and sit up nice and tall, hands at heart center. And think of an intention maybe for your inner child, maybe it's to play a little bit more. And breathe that in and then exhale open your eyes and we'll come up to a tabletop and bring our our inner child to the table give it some nourishment shake your hips Sophie shake it out spread your fingers nice and wide let the tops of the feet rest on your mat and hopefully you have something comfy underneath your knees like I do it feels so good Spreading the fingers nice and wide. Get that long table so the gaze is just in front of you. You can feel your shoulders starting to get engaged. And let's take some hip circles. So we'll work with those hips on the outside. And then we'll work a little more from the inside. Just giving a circle in one direction And of course, switching to the other direction. Good. And come on up, find some stillness in tabletop. And then let's take the wrists and point your fingers toward you and just give yourself a little stretch of the wrists before we do anything else. Rocking forward and back. And then switch. And we'll take a few cat cows just to warm up the spine. Get that spine feeling all ready for the day. So moving with your breath as you inhale, lift the gaze and drop the belly. And as you exhale, draw that belly into the spine and round. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll just move a few more times.
Good. And come back to center. Take a gaze over toward your, over your right shoulder toward your right foot. And come back to center. And then take your gaze over to your left foot. And come back to center. Let's take a couple more moving side to side. And then eventually coming back to center. Good. Tuck your toes. Bring your hands a little bit uh, farther in front of you. So maybe just one hand length. And then press into your fingers as you lift up into your first downward facing dog. And then move anything that might be in your way. <clears throat> Coming into your downward dog, walk that dog. Another great stretch for the spine. And if you walk your dog and maybe rotate a little bit right to left, you'll get into those hips and the waist. And then eventually find some stillness. Press those heels back toward the floor. And let your head just relax. Good. Take a nice big breath in and come up on your toes. Stretch your toes, stretch your feet. And then lower your heels back down to the ground. Inhale again, lift up, and exhale lower. Good. Last one. Inhale, come up to your toes. This time, look forward and take a slow walk forward. Find the front of your mat and just let your hands rest. Let the um, tops of your hands rest on the floor. And walk from side to side in this forward fold. Just allow the lower back to release. Bending the knees as much as you need to, just to give yourself um, that lower back safety. And then find stillness here. Shake your head yes. And shake your head no. Take a big breath in. Root into your feet and roll up one vertebra at a time. Reaching up your arms, sending your fingertips up to the sky, looking up. And then letting your hands touch, palms press against one another as you draw them down into your heart center. Let your shoulders relax down, let your eyes close. Find mountain pose here. Breathe in, let your chest expand, feel that expansion into your thumbs. And then exhale it out. Let your shoulders drop down even more. Good. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, release your hands. Let your palms face forward. Let your shoulders open even more. Take a big breath in. Look up and lean back. Take your first little back bend here. Draw your shoulders toward one another. Open up, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good. And then exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need to to come into your forward fold again. Letting your head release. Inhale, we'll come into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold again. Inhale, moving a little faster. Root to rise, reaching up, looking up. This time, take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Lean over to the right. Look left. Good. Inhale, back to center. Reach for the right wrist with the left hand and lean to the left. Excellent. Inhale, reach up and look up. Lean back and exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Come into that forward fold again. Good. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, fingertips come to the floor. Let your head just relax down. Let's come into ragdoll here. See if you can straighten your legs a little bit more. Let your hands come to your elbows and let your head just relax toward the floor. Take a full breath in and a nice deep breath out. Good. On your inhale, open your eyes, release your hands, bend your knees as much as you need to, root to rise, reach your arms way up, look up, 
And then as you exhale, sink down into your chair pose, bringing your arms into goddess or cactus. So your elbows are bent and your palms are facing forward and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good, good, excellent. Take a nice big breath in and on your exhalation, slowly fold forward. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. And on your exhale, fingertips or hands come to floor or block. Step your right leg back. Find your long lunge, your low lunge. Rock forward and back on the right toes. Enjoy that stretch of that leg. <clears throat> and then we'll lower that right knee to the floor. Lower the top of the right foot to the floor. And come up to Anjani Asana, so um, a low lunge. Right knee's on the floor, left knee is over the left ankle. And just lean forward, draw your shoulders back, maybe look up, take a little balance challenge here, and breathe. Good, nice big breath in. Long, slow breath out. Excellent, when you're ready, Take your right hand to the inside of the left leg. Take a side, take a little twist, lifting up that left arm, following it with your gaze. Excellent. And on your exhalation, bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Maybe scooch that left foot over to the left a little bit. And whatever props you have available, I'm gonna reach for a blanket. Let's, let's place it on the inside of that left foot and come into our lizard pose. So yeah, hips, we're feeling our hips. So just notice how that sensation is feeling to you and um, make it work for you, for your body today. Come on down to your elbows, if that feels good. You can also prop yourself up. We're gonna be here for a few breaths. So see if you can keep a long, deep, steady, graceful breath as we stretch those hips. Excellent. So while we're here, I'll share some more of Mary's tips. I thought this was good. She, um, she says, you may also include um, working with some herbs. She suggests chamomile, star anise, and yarrow for healing the inner child. She says chamomile is used for love, protection, and healing both in the bath or as a tea. Yarrow helps deal with negativity and star anise is used for negotiation between opposites. She also suggests peppermint in your bath or as a tea as good protection. She says time is identified with courage and ambition and enhances your ability to experience childlike fun. Who knew? After a healing bath, Mary suggests you may wish to play a game you enjoyed as a child. Your inner child will be nourished also by lavender, yum, and rose fragrances. These fragrances are associated with love, protection, purification, balance, and healing. And of course she says pick the one that most um, attracts you. So I actually read that yesterday and I had a cup of peppermint tea after dinner. It was really good. And I felt very protected. So thank you, Mary. Good. Let's take one more breath. You guys are doing great. And then we'll peel ourselves up and away. Just move your prop aside. Take your hands to the floor, tuck your right toe, and step your left foot back. We'll come into a brief downward facing dog and just walk it out because that might feel good. Just notice the difference between the right leg and the left. Good. Take a nice big breath in, come up on your toes, look forward and take a walk, step or jump, come to your forward fold. Release your hands, let your, your tops of your hands rest on the floor, open and close your wrists a few times. And on your inhalation, bend your knees, root to rise, reaching all the way up 
And then we'll sit down into our chair pose on this side. So bringing your hands into goddess. <clears throat> Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Scooch down. Let your hips come down farther. Activate those quads. Lift and spread your toes and press them into the floor. All the things. Chair pose. All the joys of chair pose. <laughs> Good. And when you're ready, slowly keep your knees bent. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Then maybe even straighten your legs. Let your head release. Inhale to your halfway lift. And exhale. Hands come to floor. Step your left foot back. Get that long lunge here on the side. Good. Rock and roll forward and back. Feel that stretch. Excellent. And then lower the knee and the top of the foot on the left side. Rise on up, coming into Anjani Asana. If you want to lift your arms up to the ceiling, test your balance. We'll stay here for a moment, feeling that stretch of that left hip flexor. Excellent. Breathing in. And breathing out. And of course, if your knees are really sensitive here, you can always come up. Um, of course, it's, it's a challenge for your quadriceps, right? It's a little bit of a balance challenge. And then when you're ready, bring your left hand to the inside of your right leg and take your twist on this side. Knee up or down. Good. Decide if you want to flip your palm and take that half bind, if that's feeling good to you today on this blustery Monday morning. Smiling. Inhale, reach up, and exhale. Bring that right hand down. Take your right foot and just scooch it over. Bring your uh, hands to the inside and prop yourself up for your lizard on this side. Get yourself ready, set yourself up, and then just notice, you know, maybe that, uh, the, this side is a little more receptive to this deep stretch of the hips. Because we've already stretched, we know from our previous work together, our previous playing together, that when we go deeply into the fascia of any body part, we affect the whole. So we may be already ready for this. So just let your eyes close and sink into this pose. Keep your breath smooth and slow. And we'll see if Mary has any other suggestions for us. Mary came on my podcast, Happy Healthy You, a couple of years ago. And um, she, she actually recorded two podcasts. You might be interested. I think one was about um, anxiety and... Um, alleviating stress and then the other one was really um, geared toward she had she had a cancer diagnosis and um, she just found that it was very um, you know as all of us would stressful and she talks about how she dealt with it so um, that's a really good one I, I really enjoyed talking to her about that you can find happy healthy you on any wherever you listen to your podcasts Breathing in and breathing out. Mary has a lot of um, guided meditations in her book. And this particular chapter is all about meeting and greeting your inner child. Finding that relationship that needs to be nourished, protected, and cherished. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Notice if there's 
tension in the back of the neck or the throat maybe swallow in your throat we'll just be here for a couple more breaths getting our yin on today good on your next breath in we'll slowly begin to rise moving taking your hands to the mat moving your props to the side take your right foot back to meet your left in downward facing dog and let your down dog be your counter pose here maybe walk the dog excellent <clears throat> nice maybe coming up on your toes a couple more times and then pressing your heels back looking forward let's take a walk to the front of our mat again root to rise bring your big toes to touch here bring your heels um, wide so a few inches wide and then bending your knees root to rise and we'll rise up and sink back into a chair pose here good now we're going to stay in this chair pose I'm just going to come facing forward here we're going to take a little uh, balance challenge so starting in our chair pose bring your weight to your right foot find your drishti don't look out your window if the trees are blowing there as much as they are here find something that's not moving and take your take your uh, left ankle across your right knee coming into a figure four balance challenge always the option to hold on to a wall or a chair or anything that is around another person <laughs> find your drishti though something that's not moving it's always always better good you can bring your hands to heart center if that helps you get a little more centered and some people say just thinking about your belly button helps find that balance maybe sink a little bit lower you guys got this smile it's only yoga and then we'll take another bit breath in as we root to rise see if you can come up lifting that left knee flexing that left foot and then lowering it down hands come to heart center yeah good job all right let's try the other side we'll see see how it goes sink down into your chair pose first get really established and you can always stay here in chair chair is chair is nothing to uh, sneeze about when you're ready decide where your arms are going to be they can stay there come to heart center bring your weight into your left foot take your you might have to use your your hand to lift that right ankle and place it on that left quadricep find your drishti I just saw Sophie walk by so that was not good don't make it a, a pet find something that's not moving good job sink down a little bit lower if you're feeling this and it feels good keep your breath smooth I should say hands can come to heart center let's take one more breath in and exhale release it out bring that right knee high oh awesome job you guys and then lower it on down Sophie shake it out shake those hips and then here we go inhale root to rise reaching up looking up leaning back maybe taking that goddess pose here squeezing the shoulder blades together and then exhale fold forward find your forward fold inhale come to your halfway lift and exhale bend your knees step your left foot back and your right foot back lower on down lower the tops of the feet come on down join me for the price is right now shake your hips left and right turn your head to one side and just breathe here letting the eyes close letting the lower back melt toward the floor just breathe in and breathe out 
When you're ready, we'll take the chin forward, bring the hands to the outsides of the shoulders, bring the forehead, that third eye, to the mat, and rock it side to side, massaging that third eye. And then when you're ready, squeeze your elbows in together. We'll come up to a cobra pose here. Just lifting up, baby cobra. Gazing forward. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Make a pillow, turn your head to the other side. And shake it out. Nice job. Full breaths in. Long breaths out. When you're ready, come back to center. Bring your hands to the outsides of your shoulders. Squeeze those elbows in. Rock and roll that third eye. Getting a little massage of the brow. And squeeze those shoulder blades together as you lift up, coming into your cobra. Maybe coming, coming up a little bit higher. Maybe you'd like to straighten your arms and come up. It's all you. Just make it work for you, but whatever you do, keep the shoulders looped back so you're feeling that expansiveness in the heart center. And on your next exhalation, just slowly lower down, turn your head to the opposite side. <sighs> Breathe it out. And wherever your head is turned, draw that knee that on that same side up to your shoulder and open up that hip. Good. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Let's take one more breath here. And on your exhalation, extend that leg and turn your head to the other side. Find that sleeper pose on this side. It feels so good. Opening up those hips. Breathe into that lower back. Nice. And as you're ready, lengthen that leg out. Bring your forehead back to center. Take a moment to rock and roll from side to side. And then we'll lift up enough to bring our hands to the outsides of the shoulders squeeze the elbows in just like you did and we're going to come back into our child's pose but it's going to be that other child's pose <laughs> so we're going to bring our knees together this time bring the forehead to the floor and reach your arms back so letting your shoulders rest palms face up and just let this be your counter pose for your back bends here Breathing in, breathing out, stomach growling, excellent, and as you're ready, take your hands to the mat, lift yourself up, we'll come into um, a twist here, bringing the left leg to the inside of the right inner thigh and crossing that right leg over. Finding your twist, taking your right hand back behind your right glute, lifting up, lengthening the spine, and on your exhalation, take your twist over to that right shoulder. Immediately feel the stretch in the right glute. Just keep that glute glued to the mat. <laughs> Kidding, not glued. Just, you know, you know what I mean. One more breath in. And exhale, release it out. We'll switch sides. Good. Lifting on your inhalation and twisting on your exhalation. The twist comes from that right rib cage. Keeping that left glute glued to the mat. One more breath in, and then slowly unwind. Bring your legs long on your mat, and then 
assume the position come on down all the way down oh, let your back just relax on the mat <sighs> just release We'll take those knees, hug them in tight. Give yourself a squeeze. Good. <clears throat> and then release the left leg long. Let's come into a half happy baby. A really nice hip opener. So taking a hold of the outside of the right foot, draw that right knee into your right shoulder. Keeping the shoulders down, keeping the face smiling. We'll let this baby be halfway happy. So if you're smiling big, just make it a half smile. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, when you're ready, slowly release. We'll take the other side. Don't worry, we'll have a full happy baby one day. Take the left side of the left foot. Draw that left knee in toward the left shoulder. And just relax that right hip flexor, right leg down on the floor. Full belly breath, and then exhale it out. Release both legs to the floor. Point your toes and take uh, one hip, lift it up, take uh, your left palm and scoot it under the left glute. Same thing with the right. And then we'll come up on our elbows, lift up, and take your head back, coming into fish pose. So the crown of the head comes toward the floor. You might not get all the way to the crown, but you're getting that stretch in the upper back. The chest is nice and open. Really point your toes. Take a full breath in here. Good. Exhale it out. One more breath. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe lift up a little bit higher. And then as you're ready, lower the back of the head to the floor, lower the hips, release the hands, and just roll your wrists, rotating the wrists one direction and then the other. Good. We'll take those knees back into the chest, take some circles to the right, and circles to the left, giving your lower back a nice massage. And then here we go, full out happy baby. So see if you can reach the outsides of your feet. Let the back of your head rela relax on the floor and let your smile just be big and broad and rock from side to side. And get that playful, happy inner child, all exuberant, shining bright. Excellent. And take one more breath in. How fun. And on your exhalation, hug your knees into your chest. Let them rock over to the right and turn to face your left. Opening up that left arm. Breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, bring your knees back to center and take them gently to your left. Open up to the right. Breathing deeply. Nice. As you're ready, come back to center. Take anything that would make you feel really yummy before we come into our Shavasana. And I'm going to suggest a heart opener here. Now, <clears throat> props uh, like blankets can work if you happen to have a bolster like this you can put it at the base of your spine or you can roll up your blanket um, <clears throat> and then place it underneath your spine lengthwise just making sure if you have a blanket like this the tassels aren't on your spine just place it back there and hopefully your head will um, land on the blanket or the pillow you can take another blanket and take it Put it underneath your knees. Oh, this is amazing. And then just let your shoulders wrap around your blanket. If none of those props are available, just bring yourself down to the ground. Let your eyes close. Let your feet come wide. Let your arms re release out to the side. Palms face up. Give you that receptive open chest. 
and just let your Shavasana, your well-deserved rest happen. Letting go of any effort here, softening into this final release. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be playful. I deserve to be joyful. This is from Mary Oliver, a poem called Everything That Was Broken. Everything that was broken has forgotten its brokenness. I live now in a sky house through every window the sun, also your presence, our touching, our stories, earthy and holy both. How can this be? But it is. Every day has something in it whose name is forever. to deepen the breath. Move fingers, toes, head from side to side. And stay here for a bit longer if you'd like, but if you'd like to join me in a seat, roll to one side and slowly make your way up. Once you get there, just close your eyes and notice Notice your breath Notice your posture Notice your heart When you're ready, reach your arms out wide. Inhale, reaching those fingertips up. Let your palms touch and draw all of that goodness, playfulness, joy, happiness right down into your heart. Let your chin bow to your heart, chin come to chest. Take a moment to find gratitude for just one thing. One thing is all it takes. Thanks you guys for showing up to your mats. It's always an honor and so much fun to play with you every Monday morning. Happy Monday. Namaste.